Welcome to our second lesson about working with equations in SOLIDWORKS 2011. Now we're able to use the visual basic IIF function to specify when to suppress or unsuppress features and components. In this lesson, we're going to see how this works. In my graphic area, I've got a plate with a slot in the center. The plate's dimensions are 200 length by 100 millimeters width. Let's take a top view. Right click on Annotations, Show Feature Dimensions. What I'm going to do here is apply a condition. Let's say if the length of my plate is less than 175 millimeters, then the slot in the center will be suppressed. Let's go to Tools on the main menu strip and select Equations. Click the Add button on the right hand side. First, I'm going to select my cut extrude 1. Equal sign. Now the syntax for the IIF function. Open parenthesis. Now we create an expression. Length less than 175, comma. Now we type in the true part. In other words, if the expression I'm creating is true, this is what's going to happen. We enter suppressed in quotations. Now we follow this with the false part. In other words, if the expression is false, this is what's going to happen. Let's enter unsuppressed in quotations after a comma. Now we close the expression with a parenthesis. Let's review our syntax. If the length of my plate is less than 175 millimeters, cut extrude 1, that's the slot, will be suppressed. Otherwise, the cut will be unsuppressed. Let's click OK at this point and see how it works. Let's change the length dimension to 160. Rebuild. And the cut extrude disappears. Let's make the length dimension 180. OK. And rebuild. And now the slot is unsuppressed. Let's return to Equations. Tools. Equations. Let's modify my syntax a little bit. Edit. Let's copy this expression with a right click. Select Copy. Cancel out. Deactivate Equation 1. And let's add another equation. We'll paste the previous equation here. Let's modify our syntax a little bit. We'll select Width instead of this 175 here. So let's review our new syntax. If the length of our plate is less than the width, then the cut extrude 1, the slot, will be suppressed. Otherwise, it's going to be unsuppressed. Let's click OK to accept this equation. And OK again to exit the Equations dialog window. Let's rebuild now. Now let's change this dimension to 90 millimeters. OK. Rebuild. And as you see, our cut extrude 1 is suppressed. That's because the length is less than the width. Let's change the length dimension again. Let's say 110 millimeters. Accept. Rebuild. And now, since the length is greater than the width, the cut is unsuppressed. This concludes our second lesson about working with equations in SOLIDWORKS 2011.